Everybody, Stacy Cochran here, and I'd like to do a video to demonstrate how to use Google Docs screenplay formatter to create a screenplay. Um, that's really the purpose of the video today. Uh, for folks who don't know me very well, uh, I'm the author of Eddie and Sonny, which was published way back in 2015. 2015. I was acquired by Amazon uh, and became a, a pretty darn good best-selling novel in 2015-2016. And then we had a movie adaptation that was made from it, uh, which was uh, launched in Italy in 2022. Uh, so a little bit about me. I'm also a professor at the University of Arizona. And so again, the purpose of the video today is to really talk about how to create a screenplay using Google Docs screenplay formatter. Of course, there are many different types of programs you can use uh, to create a screenplay, uh, but today I'm focusing primarily on, on Google Docs. So what I have open here is a screenplay for an adaptation of my new novel, Jordan, uh, which launches in February of 2024. Uh, and I've been working on developing the screenplay for this over the past month or so. Uh, and so I've got a, a big chunk of, of the screenplay written. And so a couple of things to note about how to use Google Docs in a screenplay formatting version is first you have to have the screenplay formatter, uh, which is free to use in Google Docs. Uh, you have to install that through Google Docs as an add-on. And then once you have it added on, you simply go up to extensions, then find your add-on screenplay formatter, then launch. And then that'll launch the uh, menu option for the screenplay formatter itself. Um, now I've used a bunch of different screenplay formatting programs over the last 20 years or more. Uh, and I've got to tell you, I've just, I've gotten comfortable using Google Docs. I love the uh, robustness of the of the program and flexibility, and yet it feels a little bit like I can I can move things around in a way that a lot of screenplay formatting software uh, has has some limitations for. So, uh, a couple of the key features that it has is your header, your action, speaker tabs, parentheses, dialogue, new characters. VFX, SFX, directions, fade in, fade out, uh, cut to, and of course the language that you want to use uh, in your actual menu. So uh, for folks who are brand new to screenplay formatting, uh, your header is this section here. Uh, and this is a great example of what I mean. I've actually used a combination of their header and then I formatted it to appear uh, more like what you would see in a typical screenplay. I should say a word or two about just the screenplay format itself. If you are trying to sell your screenplay, in contrast to writing a screenplay that you want to direct yourself on your own budget, but if you're writing a screenplay that you're hoping to, to sell to a production company, you really do need to follow a pretty standard screenplay format because that's going to be the first thing they're going to be looking for is does it follow standard screenplay format. In contrast, if you're writing a screenplay that you are going to direct yourself, you're going to crowdsource funding uh, and you're going to raise the money yourself, well, who cares what the screenplay format looks like in that case? As long as you're able to com communicate your screenplay to your actors and your crew, uh, the screenplay itself is generally not going to be published in that context. And so there's some consideration that you have to make about what is the end result that you want to have for your screenplay. Are you trying to sell it to a production company? Uh, are you making it yourself? So for a lot of content creators, if you're just writing a screenplay for yourself, you don't need to worry too much about format, in my view. And I've written both. I've made films myself on my own self-finance dime, and then I've sold scripts like Eddie and Sonny. And in both instances, uh, I kind of follow a different format. Uh, and, and even what I communicate in the script is different. 
if I'm directing something myself, I want to know exactly what my shots are. Uh, I view it very much as a blueprint for what I'll actually use when I go out and film. Whereas if you're selling a script to a production company or a studio, uh, that level of detail they may not want. They may want just an overview of, of what's going on in the story and, and putting in things like wide shot and closer angle, stuff like that uh, might, be, might be too much. Um, again, it really depends on what your end result goal is for the screenplay itself. So, yeah, this is the script I've got for the new novel. Uh, the different sections of the script. I have header. Uh, you can see some insert shots here. Uh, this uh, is, is, of course, the speaker of this piece of dialogue. Uh, action is here. So let me find a, like a clean space in the document and just kind of create from scratch. Okay, so I'm, I'm skipping all the way to, to the end of the script, uh, and I'm going to use header to show you how Google Docs works. So we'll set, I'm just going to make this up, uh, an exterior um, open ocean. And it doesn't matter whether you capitalize it or not in the window that you see here. Um, it will automatically create the header for you. Uh, for this, I'm not putting in any numbers. Um, uh, as you saw in some of the other headers, and it doesn't bold it. So if I wanted to make this look like a header from uh, like a standard script that I'd be selling to uh, a studio, uh, I'd want this to be in bold. I'd want to have my numbers for each scene number in place. And I'd want to format it so that I have numbers on either side. So what I've kind of done using Google Docs, again, which is just my preference, Everybody might have their own different preference. I've used Studio Binder. I've used uh, a variety of different programs. Uh, this is just my comfort zone, uh, and maybe it's useful to you. So if I wanted to create a scene number here, let's say we'll call this scene one, I'd have that. And then I can actually go into the ruler up at the top and set my formatting. So if I want my one on the other side, I'm just going to manually go in using tabs and then I may create spacing using again the ruler at the top to move that over to uh, standard screenplay space uh, on the script. So then if I wanted to be bold I can make everything bold and then boom. Now I'm ready to put in my action so let's click action and we'll say our protagonist writes in his script on his computer, right? So you get the general idea there. Um, let's drop down a couple lines. We'll give the protagonist a name. So let's say the protagonist's name is Keith. So we want to highlight that, and then I'd go down to new character, click on that and it'll automatically uh, capitalize it, which you could do yourself manually as well. Not a big deal. But let's have Keith say something. So we'll go to speaker. And then let's say we have Keith doing something parenthetically, like we'll say whispers. Drop down a line. I love creating content. I love creating content. <laughs> so there you have it. And then we click back to action. Uh, he picks up his cup of coffee. Cheers. So that's some of the basic functionality for using Google Docs created from scratch here. Uh, hopefully this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. As always, like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. It helps a tremendous amount to me. And I'll try to respond to any comments that I see. 
Thanks so much.